don't believe it, your breakthrough is on the way. Just keep on trusting. Just keep on believing. Your breakthrough is on the way. Just keep on trusting. Just keep on believing. Your come on, somebody. I said your breakthrough is on the way. Just keep on trusting. Just keep on believing. Your breakthrough is on the way. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Somebody need to know that this morning. Somebody need to know that your breakthrough is on the way. And I don't know about you, but you all just going to give God some praise. Your breakthrough is on the way. Praise his holy name. We're going to give honor to God. We thank God for allowing us to be here this morning. It's just another blessed day that the Amen. Lord has made. And we need to be rejoicing. Amen. We need to be praising and giving him thanks. Amen. 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 So we give honor to him. Give honor to our deacons this morning and mothers who are here. So glad to see Mother Owen. Amen. Brothers. Amen. And uh, so glad to see all of our urchins on the door. This Amen. Morning. Everybody, come on, give them a hand. Give them a hand. Everybody, now give yourselves a hand. All of our ministers are here in your respective places. We just thank God. God is good. Right. Amen. God is good all the time. Amen. So we just give him all honor and all praise. And I come to give him thanks and give him praise for what he's doing. Is that right? Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. Standing with me, if you will. Turn your Bibles, if you will, this morning to Psalms 40. Psalms 40. We stand for the reading of God's word. If y'all help me preach this and say amen, we'll, we'll go ahead and praise God and give him the glory. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 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 We're going to make the devil mad this morning. All right. All right. Amen. I, uh, Psalms 40. I'm going to lift up. Some verses here. A couple of verses out of this song. David is praising God for deliverance. Mom was still preaching. Have anybody been delivered from something? Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever you've been delivered from, why don't you go and praise him? Because everybody ought to be delivered what you've been delivered And those of you who may not have been delivered, those of us who've been, been delivered know we just want to let you know God can deliver you. Is that right? And so we're praising God this morning for deliverance. Amen. Praising God for, for what he can do. Amen. If we just trust him. Amen. If we just believe him. Yes. Because your breakthrough yes. is on the way. Amen. Yes, sir. Can I get away to this? I just want to talk about this morning. Uh what to do when you are in the pit. All right. Amen. Go ahead. What to do when you're in the pit. Mm -hmm. Now that's different types of pits. Mm -hmm. That's pits that you put yourself in. Amen. That's pits that's 
somebody put you in. Uh -huh. And that's peace that God put you in to get you out. But David here is telling us, I was in a horrible pit and God brought me out. Let me say this before I go to my seat. We all need to thank God for bringing us out of the pit. Amen, amen, amen. And I'm going to say this before I go to my seat. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ for your personal Savior, you're still in the pit. Amen. You're in the pit, pit of sin. And there's no way out but Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. So it is, my brothers and sisters. So let's see what David says in verse 1. He says, I wait patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Yes. He bought me up also out of a horrible pit. Somebody said a horrible pit. Horrible pit. Out of the merry clay. And set my feet upon a rock. And established my goal. Look at God. Amen. I said look at God. It says God brought me out of a horrible pit. Can I get a witness? Amen. All my brothers and sisters, somebody here may be in a pit. You may be getting ready to be thrown in a pit. Right Can I get a witness? Amen. You may be coming out of a pit. Mm -hmm. But I come out and tell you when God bring you out, you Amen. need to give God some praise for bringing you out. Can I? And if you're in a pit, I just come out and tell you on my way to heaven that you are coming out today. Amen. Can I get a witness here? goes on and he says, and he bought me up out of the horrible pit, out of the mirror with marred clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he had put a new song in my mouth, yeah. even praises unto our God. Yeah. And then he said, many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Yeah. You may be seated. What to do when you are in the pit? Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, David at this point does not specifically exactly specify what the trials of the first pit that he was in. Because David has been in many pits. Amen. And God has brought him out. Somebody need to know if God brought you out of one situation, he'll bring you out of another. Amen. Yes, he is. If he brought you through this, he'll bring you through that. Amen. Amen. Can I get away with this? All my brothers and sisters, we all have challenges in life Amen. that we have pitfalls. Amen. Every now and then we stumble and fall. But we are so glad that God has a way Amen. of coming to our rescue. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, I, I know what I'm talking about because sometimes you might have to cry Amen. Yes, in the midnight hour. Yes, sir. When nobody's around, you're dealing with stuff on the inside that you can't talk to nobody. Amen. You just can't express yourself to nobody because you feel like they just don't understand. But Amen. David reminds us, even when you're in your pit with a situation, God hears your cry. Can I get a witness here? It is, my brothers and sisters, we have about three things we want to talk about to help the saints along the way because we all going to have situations concerning our pit. Amen. Is that right? That's right. Yes, here, yeah, David, amen, specifically does not show us what pit he is in. Amen. But somehow he reminds us that whatever pit or situation it may be, God is going to 
bring him out. Amen. Is that right? Yes, my brothers and sisters. Yeah, we make our own pits by being those disobedient to God. Amen. Sometimes we can dig our own ditch. Come on, someone. Yes. Then you want to blame other folks. But sometimes you dig your own ditch Amen. by not doing what God wants us to do. Yes. How many have dug your own ditch? How many yes. have dug your own pit? Yes. You can't blame it on the defense. You can't blame it on nobody. You dug that pit yourself. Can I get it? Let me tell you what a pit is. A pit is a hole, a dark place. Amen. Can I get the witness Amen. here? Oh, my brothers and sisters, yeah, we all have some dark days. Amen. Is that right? That's right. And we dug our, I dug my own pit. Yeah. All right now. Amen. Caused my own self to fall oh, in the pit. Because I was disobedient. Amen. Praise the word. It is, my brothers and sisters. It's a sad commentary. Because the devil will sometimes uh, allow us, and if we're not careful, to fall in the pit. Amen. Because he places things in our life, amen, to trip us up. Yes, he does. Come on, somebody. Amen. To get us distracted, to get us off course. To keep us from trusting God. Amen. But I'm so glad, my brothers and sisters, that I've learned, I've learned. to depend on God. Amen. Is that right? Amen. So David is. Some, my brothers and sisters, feel that David, amen, was, uh, was, was, was striving. He was trying to deal with some situations within himself. Mm -hmm. Running from Saul. His son Absalom was also trying to overthrow the kingdom. Amen. So David was dealing with some family situations. Yes. You know, I come to tell you, we have some families that's in the pit. Oh, uh, my brothers and sisters, we got to understand that they never know how to tear up a family. Yes, yes. Can I get a witness? Yes, yes. He tear up the family. He can tear up a church. Amen. Oh, y'all don't hear me. And so it is, David was dealing with some stress and some family issues. And, and we see, my brothers and sisters, that even if that sometimes David was dealing with these situations, he always remembered that God was on his side. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Well, my brothers and sisters, a pit could be an illness. Pit could be a uh, my brothers and sisters, a situation or circumstances that you might be going through. Uh -huh. A pit could be an unfaithful mate. Amen. Whatever the pit may consist of, God is able to help you in your pit. Amen. Yes, yes. Is that right? Amen. Yes, my brothers and sisters, your pit could be a lost job. Amen. Amen. It could be a form of friend. Mm -hmm. It could be a rebellious child. Amen. It could be an overwhelming, overwhelming problem Amen. that you might be responsible for being in your own pit. But oh, I come by to tell you, my brother and sister, God will know how to pick you up yes, and clean you up yeah. and turn you around. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Three things in my board that I see that David gonna give us this morning to teach us how to get it out of your kid. Number one, listen what he says in verse number one. Amen. He says, I wait patiently on the Lord. Write that down. I wait patiently on the Lord. Well, how long have you been waiting, David? David said, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Uh -huh. I've been waiting. Yeah, yeah. I've been waiting. Yeah. I keep on waiting. Yeah. I'm just waiting yeah. on the Lord. Yeah. David says, while I'm waiting, I'm still trusted. Yeah. I'm still dependent. Yeah. I'm still believing that my breakthrough is on the way. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Amen. I come by to tell y'all, my brothers and sisters, don't give up on God. Amen. If you 
you're in your pit, God knows where you are. Can I get a witness here? But sometimes you have to wait on the Lord and be of good courage because he will come to the rescue. Can I have any other here that know and praise God that kept their company? Can I get a witness here? David said, I wait patiently on the Lord. David just didn't wake up the next day and say, I wait on the Lord. David been waiting on the Lord a long time. It took him about 30 years, my brother and sister, to make king, but he still didn't give up. Amen. And I come by to tell y'all, my brother and sister, I don't care how hard things get, Amen. you got to keep the tendon yeah. on the Lord. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Oh, and it is my brother and sister David said, I wait patiently on the Lord. Amen. Meaning that waiting intensively on the Lord. Meaning that even though the pain is getting intense, I'm going to keep waiting intensively. I'm going to keep being strong. I'm going to keep, amen, praying. I'm going to keep trusting, David says. So I'm going to wait patiently on the Lord. So number one, David says, amen, to help us get out of our pit, we got to wait on the Lord. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Psalm 27 said, David said, I almost fainted if I hadn't saw the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Oh, my brothers and sisters, I come by to tell you, my brothers and sisters, don't waste a good pit. <laughs> Can I get a witness here? Come here, Joseph, tell us about the pit. Joseph, that they put me in the pit. My brother hated me. They envied me and they put me in the pit. But all oh, my brothers and sisters, God saw what they were doing. And I come by to tell you, my brothers and sisters, when somebody trying to throw you in the pit, that's just an avenue. That's just a place for God to come down and pick you up that you can have a new song and a new testament to know that the Lord is able. Can I get a witness here? David says, I wait patiently on the Lord. Amen. Mom read it and read it in Psalms in Isaiah 40. It says, Has thou not known? Has thou not heard about the good God? Amen. The Creator, the Almighty. Have you not heard that there's still a God? That Amen. when you're going through your troubles, that He's still there? Amen. Have you not known? Have you not heard about this God, somebody need to hear about God. Amen. Somebody need to know about God. Somebody need to praise God for bringing them out of the pit, bringing them out of muck and mud, placing them on solid ground. Can I get a witness here? He said, as your mount up, as wings as an eagle. The eagle, my brothers and sisters, know how to fly okay. over the stone. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Wings of the eagle, meaning, my brothers and sisters, that you're riding on the wings of God. Yes. The eagle wings. Yes. As he began to fly, as he began to sue. Amen. The eagle has an eagle eye. He can see well far off. Wow. That's what faith do. Faith says, I, I, even I'm on in my pit, but faith says, that's all right. I can't see it, but I'm coming out. Can I, can I get a witness here? I don't hear somebody. Somebody ought to praise God for, for delivering you out of your pit. Can I get a witness here? So he says, I wait patiently on the Lord. Amen. And he heard. Somebody say he heard. He heard. And he heard my cry. David is saying, I cried out to the Lord because I was in a dark place. I was in a pit where there was loneliness. Nobody to help me. Have you ever been in a place where nobody can help you? Have you ever been in a place that you all seem like you're all by yourself? Seem like nobody has come to your rescue, especially when you get sick. Can I get a witness here? Oh, it seems like you're all alone, but I come by to tell you there is a God that sits high and looks low. Can I get a witness here? David says, I cried out to the Lord. Oh, my brothers and sisters, 
sister, I don't know about you, but sometimes I had to cry. Amen. Yes, I did. Every night and then, my brothers yes, and sisters, sometimes things can overwhelm you. You have to cry oh, yeah. to the Lord. Can I get a witness here? Oh, it is, my brothers and sisters, one thing about believers. Amen. Because sometimes we feel, my brothers and sisters, that just because God is on our side, we, we may not go through some things. But let me tell you something. I don't care how faithful, how much holy ghost you got, how much speaking in tongues you do. You can come to church 24 7. You can do all the good things. You can do all the things you want. But sometimes, my brothers and sisters, God has a way to show us that there'll come a time when can't nobody help you but Him. Can I get a witness? Have anybody been there? I said, have anybody been there? You've been through a rock and a hard place. Can I get a witness here? You couldn't call nobody. You couldn't tell nobody. But on the inside, it was like And he 
things get crucial. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get the witness yeah. in. Women, y'all help. Like they said the first thing is your water break. Y'all yeah. don't hear me. Yeah. Unless you know uh, the baby's on the way. Y'all don't hear me. Yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all been laboring a long time. You've been striving a long time. You've been praying a long time. And God come by, come by on my way to heaven to give you good news. You are about to break out and burst out. And Yeah. 
said, many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Can I get a witness here? Amen. So it is, my brothers and sisters, they even saying this. Blessed is the man Amen. that maketh the Lord his trust. Amen. And respect not of the proud. Amen. A proud person says, I can do it all by myself. Amen. A proud person says, I can work things out by myself. Yeah. A proud person says, yeah. I got it all together. Yeah, yeah. All my brothers and sisters, I come by to tell you, don't you let the devil deceive you. Yeah. Because many of us think we all together and we just like a great, we just like a, a, a mess of just messed up. And we not messed up because we thought we could get it out. We thought we could work it out. We thought we could figure it out. But sometimes, how many know that sometimes you think you know everything? And you have to feel like that. And when it comes to a place, your life. You don't know it all. You don't see it all. You just got to trust God. Amen. For the things that you don't know, the things you can't do, the things you can't see. You just got to walk by faith and not by sight and believe God that he's able to make you and help you. Can I get a witness here? So my third thing, proclaim God and his goodness. Amen. Right. When God gives you the answer, yeah. you need to tell somebody he's a prayer hearing God. Oh, yes. I don't know about you, my brother, so I need somebody to stand right now and, and let's let somebody know God is a prayer answering God. Yeah. How many is in the house that God has answered your prayer? 